Welcome back, everybody. For those of you that are Veronica fans, I have let Boone go so I can pick up Veronica and we can get to know her real quick. Well, I say real quick. Actually, she's got a lot to say, so I won't have much time to get in a no word sense, edgewise. But you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome, then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? I believe she is actually a missable follower. There is a way to turn her away, so uh, be careful not to. She's actually my favorite, so... Make sure not yeah, to offend. pretty far out, right? Fixating on old technology just doesn't seem very relevant to most people's lives. Hey. So, where are you headed, anyway? Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest, you're the first person I've run across out here that looks like she can really handle herself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. nowhere in particular really just hoping to see more of the world looking for a fresh perspective i want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the mojave see if there's something i can learn from like i said they can handle themselves and i'm not the only one getting supplies for them it's a big family now you're talking one thing you should know first though I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. Well, that's smart. You still okay bringing me along? Absolutely. Sure, just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. <laughs> well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. All right, now she has a bunch Let's hit the road, of huh? lore and backstory to offer. So I will try to go through all the dialogue that I can. What's up? He was dead when I got there. <laughs> it pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? <laughs> Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology, controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. She's a little fixated no, on that. <laughs> My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. I know sometimes I sound like I don't, I know, but there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people, even if it's from themselves. It's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes, 
Treat all our practices with the same sacredness. Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. I think that refers to the Fallout 3 and the, uh, the outcasts. He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. And there were other ways he wanted to push. Other weapons. Ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Darn it! I had some spectacular answers coming, too. This better not be about the meaning of life. Sure. He's one of the hotel managers on the Strip. He comes up in the news now and then. Him and the other chairman run the Tops. It's one of the nicer hotels. Or so I hear. Elder McNamara wouldn't shell out for a passport for me, so I've actually never been to the Strip. Why do people get so cheap when they get old? Well, when two people really love each other, you really don't know <laughs> She's really yet. fixated on sex. She really is. Yep, it's your typical city layout. Rich people in a gated community surrounded by extreme poverty. And thus my favorite follower. The strip to the locals, but he has no interest in it, so he ignores it entirely. It just needs new management. I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the Codex doesn't say clean up Freeside, no one listens to me. Bunch of sticklers. Ooh, do I get a prize if I answer right? I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want. We defend our interests to the death. But there's a handful of us and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. So it's not going to end well. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people. Retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. That's not the Brotherhood I know. I was told we wouldn't be tested on this. Silliest dress band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear the soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. <laughs> no such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwads. It's a word. And thus, she really is my favorite follower. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> a lifetime supply of fancy lad snack cakes, revenge against my enemies, and world peace. In that order. Fancy lads do Darn come it. first, that's true. I had some spectacular answers coming, too. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. I like punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Can I make it up? I want a dress. Mm hmm. Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. <laughs> I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Like what? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagined a grandfather to be. 
It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders. Somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow. Watch him at work. He did. For years, he fought with the council. Taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb. But he was mad because we'd lost its power. What we'd use it for. He didn't even care. They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse the other elders though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him if he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, there was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Yeah, I miss him. Between her and Cass, these are uh, two followers who aren't just mindless robots, you know? I saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He gave orders to hold the plant until he could be reactivated. But he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. -face. It was... strange. Even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was... something else. I don't want to say delusional, but... I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it, I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. I think Dead Money DLC gives you some more on that. Like what? Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, Mom was a scribe. They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from something okay now she was alone when she came out east from out there guess it seemed important at the time so that means they were they were in it with the NCR even out west so were they fleeing east when they came out here ever been nosy I was once we were pretty young but I like to think it was love she left the Brotherhood wanted to put some distance between herself and her parents since our membership isn't open to outsiders some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. You can guess which camp her parents belong to. No. Couldn't bring myself to leave everyone else behind. Couldn't convince her to stay, either. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. I don't know where she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though. Once in a while. I believe you learn about her in the Dead Money DLC also. Like what? If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. Like what? No more specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Ooh. Followers of the apocalypse, gossip. in particular. I was young and I needed the money. <laughs> Let's. 
All right, and that's that's about all of her uh, dialogue. All right, next we're going to go down here and talk to the forecaster. Little kid down here in the next one. He is kind of sad with him. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it was uh, cool getting to know Veronica there, get some backstory and some lore. For the rest of the Let's Play up to this point, hit the top box for all my playlists. Hit the bottom box. And if you want to subscribe, hit that button over my head. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.